Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and here is what I have for you today. Hematohydrosis is a rare pathophysiological condition of sweating blood. Yes, you heard it right. History also has quoted this rare disease where it is said Jesus sweated blood before his crucifixion and the great artist Leonardo da Vinci wrote about a soldier who had bloody sweat after a battle. However, with rare pathophysiology, this disease has been recorded very rarely. So, I'm going to talk about a case study of a young lady who presented with abrupt bleeding from the skin. The bleeding was vanished after wiping with no sight of injury. But it even reappeared soon enough, confirming its nature. Bleeding time, the clotting time as well as the prothrombin time was well within the normal limits. This 19-year-old female presented with a tendency of complaints of occasional loss of consciousness at home with violent random movements of limbs and bending of the spine followed by spontaneous recovery along with bleeding from the nose and the eyes. She was hospitalized four years ago as she was found unconscious at her home stairway with bleeding from her nose and the ears. CBC the coagulation profile, the CT brain was all normal as she was discharged after observation. A similar episode of bleeding from the nose and the mouth occurred after a month and again she was hospitalized but once again the blood profile parameters were all normal. Confusing, right? So ENT consultation revealed no source of bleeding even after fiber optic laryngoscopy and she was advised to take oral tranexamic acid at home in case of an emer emergency. So a couple of similar episodes happened as she was taking psychiatric therapy for anxiety disorder as loss of consciousness was considered anxiety sequelae. In 2018, she also developed new symptoms that is shedding of bloody tears associated with bloody salivation. Benzidine test was found positive for tear and saliva samples proving the theory of the presence of blood mixed with saliva and tears. So as of now, the researchers highlighted that psychological anxiety is a predisposing cause for hematohydrosis. So in conclusion, though it is a very rarely reported case history in medical literature, doctors should keep a close watch on their daily patient interactions to register more cases of hematohydrosis to know further about the condition. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.